Safety starts with me. If you've spent any time in industry or in construction, you've probably come across that term. Maybe it was when you were driving through the company gates and you saw it on a banner. Perhaps it was your company safety slogan. You might even spent an entire safety meeting going over what safety starts with me means to you. But have you ever wondered where safety started from? Because when you understand where safety starts from, it puts an entirely new meaning to what safety starts with me means to you. To find out where safety first started, we need to go back almost 4,000 years to 1754 BC to ancient Babylon, where an emperor named Hammurabi made what is known as the Code of Hammurabi, our first real conclusive set of laws. On this rock, there are 282 laws, and they cover everything from adultery to forgery to perjury, divorce, and our first construction safety laws. Laws 229 to 233. These four construction safety laws all were eerily written the same. We read in Law 229, If a builder builds a house for a man and does not make it construction sound, and the house which he has built collapses and causes the death of the owner of the house, the builder shall be put to death. These laws all said the exact same thing. Blame the worker. And this continued on for thousands of years. Our next real advancement in safety didn't occur until 1906 in Allegheny County, where the local jobs were to be a steel worker, a coal miner, and a factory worker. There were so many fatalities happening in this one county at work that a group of people decided they were going to start recording how many fatalities truly were happening. Over one fiscal year, from July 1st, 1906 to June 30th, 1907, they recorded with a little red X signifying each worker that passed away. Rarely a day went by when they didn't put an X on the calendar. Sometimes there were so many X's, they bled out into the margins. Overall, these people recorded 526 worker fatalities in one fiscal year. The people that made this calendar were the widows. It was in their loss, in their strife, in their grief, somehow trying to find a way to tell their children that daddy's never coming home, that they found the strength to bind together and create what is known as our first occupational health and safety statistic. And it was given the wonderful name, the death calendar. From there, these widows took this calendar to the government and the government actually wanted to do something about it. But big business said, we can't afford it. If you make these laws, it'll cost too much money and we will go out of business. So instead, a compromise was made and workers' compensation was created, known as the Federal Employers Liability Act. And disaster after disaster after disaster continued to happen. Disasters like the 1911 New York Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire that killed 146 women, girls, and men. Or during the construction of the Hoover Dam that started in 1931, where overall 112 fatalities were recorded. Then there's incidences that affected the civilian population, like in 1944, when the East Ohio Gas Company had one of their storage tanks leak gas vapors the vapors were heavy and went down into the sewer. When they built up enough, they exploded and they took out one square mile worth of homes. In all, 79 homes were destroyed, two factories, 700 people were left homeless, and 131 people were killed. In 1947, the SS Grand Cap exploded in Texas City. When this occurred, 581 workers and civilians passed away. This pattern of loss continued until November 20th, 1968, when another major coal mine disaster occurred in Farmington, West Virginia. In all, 
78 miners lost their life that day. The U.S. government finally said enough is enough. It took them two years, but on December 29, 1970, OSHA was created. Shortly after that, in 1971, Canada created the Canada Federal Labour Codes. In 1974, the United Kingdom created their Health and Safety at Work Act. From there, safety spread into Europe, New Zealand, Australia, and around the world. So now you know where safety started. And it didn't start with you. It came from the widows and not the workers. If you ask me, that is the most reactive place I could have ever hoped to have found where safety came from. That is why we need to be proactive when it comes to safety. It's not enough to do something about the hazards because they're part of our job. We have to want to do something about the hazards. And when we want to do something about the hazards, it's at that moment that safety starts with you. Now I hope you enjoyed this safety moment. If you want more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to bring me out to your workplace, go to spencerspeaks.ca. And until the next safety moment, stay safe.